ahead and get started with this Alfredo sauce from scratch. We have two cloves of garlic we're going to put in the garlic press. We have one diced shallot, two tablespoons of butter. We're using a half of a lemon or you can use one third cup of white wine. And we have two cups of heavy whipping cream. We also have three ounces of fresh Parmesan cheese. Today we're going to be cooking with about a pound of shrimp. We're going to be using a bow tie pasta. Okay, you're going to want to start with just a tablespoon or teaspoon of olive oil into the pan and we're going to start frying up the shrimp a little bit and we'll I'll show you the steps from there guys. Be right back. Okay hey guys, currently we're just going ahead and bringing our water up to a boil. You want to throw just a little bit of salt to help heat up um, the water. And again, remember boiling is 212 degrees. This is not a huge step, this is just making pasta. It doesn't matter what pasta you want to go ahead and use, throw it in there, strain it, and just put it aside for when we're, uh, when we're done here with the rest of the stuff. Okay, while the pasta is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get our pan. We're gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in there and we're gonna start heating it up. We don't wanna have the heat too high on this. You kinda wanna have it on a medium because we're gonna do a lot of simmering. We're not gonna bring anything to a boil in the pan. Okay, so we're gonna let this heat up and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start placing our shrimp in there. We're gonna be cooking these for about two to three minutes on each side or until they're translucent. We're gonna be seasoning both sides of them. Just lightly, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cracked pepper, and a little bit of paprika. Okay. Hope everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day. So let's go ahead and season these a little bit. Okay. And then finish it off with a little bit of paprika. Just a light little sprinkle. Okay. Again, cook those for about two to three minutes. And then we're gonna flip, turn the sides. Okay, our shrimp are done. I'm gonna take them off the heat. I'm gonna put them into a container. We're just gonna let them rest for a few minutes and then we're gonna start with the sauce. All right, we're first gonna start with the butter. We're gonna get that going. Again, check your heat, make sure it's not too high. We're gonna turn this a little bit lower. Got all this good flavor for when we cook the shrimp, so you wanna take advantage of it. Now this dish is very high in fat, so it's not something you want to have too often. But my wife loves this, so it's her birthday coming up in a few days, and I wanted to just give her a nice surprise. We're going to go ahead and add our shallots in. Make sure we get them all. We're going to simmer these for about two to three minutes. We're going to add our garlic in in a second. Make sure you're using the, get a garlic clove press from uh, Amazon or something like that. And it just tastes so much better than buying the minced garlic from the stores. Fresh garlic is always the way to go. And again, when you, when you add the, you can add a lemon or you can add white wine. It's up to you. I probably would have used white wine, but I didn't have any on hand. So um, I think it gives it a little bit better flavor, um, but that's all up to you. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and add the lemon juice. Okay. Our acid. Okay. 
it's a fairly quick dish too. I mean, it maybe takes 20 minutes to put all together. We're gonna go ahead and add our heavy cream. Again, you don't want to bring this to a boil, okay? Alexa, stop. So you want to make sure you have it on a nice simmer. Okay. Otherwise the fats will start separating. And we don't want that. So let's go ahead and season this again. We're going to use, again, our fresh black pepper. A little bit of salt, a little bit of paprika. All right, after we seasoned it, we're gonna go ahead and add our fresh Parmesan cheese into it. Uh, this is the best, guys. Don't don't use the, star bo the store bought stuff, just the grated stuff already. Make sure you just buy it fresh from the, from the deli and you just put it right in. It, it just really ups the flavor 100%. Okay, we have our pasta done. We're gonna go ahead and add it into our sauce here. There we go. We're gonna stir that around a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our shrimp and then we're gonna go ahead and plate it up. Boy, that looks good. There's our shrimp. Just let these flavors incorporate for just a few minutes. Oh, it's gonna be so good. She's really gonna love this. All right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the plate. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now it's optional whether you want to go ahead and put a little bit of parsley on it. I'm going to go ahead and put a little parsley on it just for some color. Okay, and there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and everyone have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye, guys.